Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we would like to look at how to animate an analog clock in PowerPoint. So I have a quote by Mother Teresa on here indicating that time is our greatest resource and to make the most of it and not to wait for tomorrow. And I would like an image of a clock with the hand moving around it just to, to visualize time moving fast. So what I'm going to do is to begin by inserting an image of a clock. And I can do that nowadays very easily within PowerPoint. I can just go to insert online pictures and simply search for a blank clock interface on here in my Bing image search. If you've already got an image of, of a watch or you know, a cathedral or just a standard clock you can use, go ahead. Or you can always go to Google and just find an image that you want. I'm searching within PowerPoint functionality here. And I'm going to choose a clock of my choice. There are lots of blank clocks. I want to put the hand in myself, so I do want a blank one. And I'm just going to go for this simple one at the top here. There's a few on here that don't have the, uh, that the circle in the centre, but I want that. It's going to make my life a little bit easier in a moment. So I'm going to insert this one. And I'll just position it on screen like normal. I'll align it up nicely with my quote on the right. A bit closer maybe. Here we go. Now I need to draw in the hand. I'm only going to bother with one hand. I'm not going to have like the minute hand and possibly the second hand as well. You could do. I'm just going to have a single uh, hand. Now I could search through online pictures again. Now I could come in here and look for a clock hand. And there are some good looking clock hands that you may be interested in. Uh, such as this first one. But I'm not going to worry about that. As you can see in these images, they're just triangles. Unless you want something fancy. So I'm just going to go and insert a shape. And pick a triangle and draw it in myself. Which will give me a little bit more control over what happens. I'm going to draw it just roughly first time round. Uh, yeah, let's have it that size. You can, you can always deal with this stuff. I'll drag it in. So you could do it a little bit smaller. If I can do that, that will fit quite nicely. See, it lines it up in the centre there with my smart guide. And I'll change the fill colour to black. And I'll get rid of the outline colour. No outline. So, I've now got myself a hand. An hour hand. Now, as things stand at the moment, if I click on that hour hand... What I'm going to ultimately do is in the animations area, I want to animate it by using an emphasis effect called spin. And that's going to give it the effect of spinning around the clock. Now this is what it looks like at the moment. I've got it spinning, but it's just spinning around itself. Uh, so the centre of it is kind of in between the 12 and the, the centre at the moment. So I'm going to have to get a little bit clever with this, because that's not what I want, is it? So I'm just going to either undo that or, or just say that I don't want any animation there. And I'm going to insert another shape. It's going to be just a simple rectangle. That will do. doesn't really matter too much because you're not going to see it. I'm going to draw it in here. Just a rough drawing. That will do. Let's align it up. And I can change its colour again. So this may seem a little bit silly at the moment. Just bear with me. Let's get rid of that outline. And what I'm also going to do is I chose a clock with a circle in the centre. But I'm now going to go and insert my own one. I wanted one originally because it allowed me to align up my hands nice and easily. I knew where their centre was. I didn't have to do it by eye. So I'm going to draw in my own circle here. I'm holding down the shift key while I do this. Because that will constrain it to a circle and not say an oval. Let's look at these guides. Make sure I've got that bang centre. And make it black with no outline. Okay, so now I have this hour hand and I've added an extra two shapes in. You are now going to find out why I did that. 
I'm going to click on this bottom part and I'm going to get rid of the fill colour. I don't want it visible. I need it there, but I don't want it visible. Let's get rid of that outline. I thought I got rid of it earlier. Uh, obviously, I'm mistaken. And with that selected, I'm also going to select my hand up above as well. So I've got the proper hour hand and the kind of uh, invisible one selected at the same time because I want to group them. I'm going to group those two shapes so they're now one shape. And if I now go and use that animation effect to spin it, did I just go past it? I did, there it is. This is the effect you get. So now it really does look like the hour hand is moving. Now if I wanted to, I could add that circle in there as well. Because you can kind of see the arrow moving among it. So if I select that and that, and then come up to format, I could group those all together. Let's put that animation back in again. And now look at what we have. That looks good. I have this clock moving around the clock face. This hand, sorry, moving around the clock face. Now at the moment it's only moving once. And on the far right, I could, if I want, edit the duration. I might make that a little bit, just a little bit slower. Maybe 325, let's say. What I could also do is maybe open up the animation pane. And I'm going to go into the timing effects of that animation effect where there is an option to repeat animations and you've got a brilliant option to repeat it until the end of the slide which would make obviously logical sense in a, a real example I guess I'm just going to choose free for now just so we can see it doing its job and if I click OK that will show the animation effect slowed down and it's going to happen three times there's the third time there, and that is how you can animate an analog clock in PowerPoint using a brilliant spin effect and by being a little bit cheeky, a little bit clever with adding some other shapes to give the appearance of it spinning around its centre. I hope you found that tutorial useful. Please check out some of my other videos on my YouTube channel. Come check us out at computergargar.com.